so hey everyone welcome back to placements ready in this video we will be taking a problem from geeks for geeks which is asked in the problem of the day the problem name is make matrix beautiful so let's read the statement a beautiful matrix is a matrix in which the sum of elements in each row and column is equal given a square matrix of size n cross n find the minimum number of operations that are required to make the matrix beautiful in one operation you can increment the value of any one cell by one okay so let's say uh, the matrix is 1 2 3 4 so in this if you sum up all the rows and columns the maximum sum is going to be 7 okay and we need to make the sum of all the rows as well as columns equal okay so somehow we need to make this as equal to this so what we can do if you read the explanation what they have done is that they have made 1 as 4 and 2 as 3 now if you check for the sum sum of every row as well as column is going to be 7 okay so here as you observed 1 is incremented by 4 so the difference is 3 plus 2 is incremented to 3 so 3 plus 1 is 4 and that is going to be the output okay similarly for this the output is going to be 6 so let's discuss this in detail so here we have already discussed this okay but for the sake of simplicity let's discuss this also so see here 3 and 4 is there right 1 and 2 is there so sum of this row is equal to 3 sum of this row is going to be 7 sum of this column is going to be 4 and sum of this column is going to be 6 so highest among all this is 7 okay so somehow we need to make this as 7 so what we will do in that case first of all we will identify what is the maximum among the all rows sum and all columns sum got it the next point is that we will be summing up the matrix okay in order to see what amount we need to increase okay the sum of the matrix is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 which is going to be 10 okay and if you consider all the rows the sum is going to be what there are two rows and the maximum sum is going to be 7 so 7 into 2 which is 14 so if you subtract the sum of the matrix from this our answer is going to be 4 which is true in this case let's see if that works in this case as well okay so as we can see the maximum sum along any of the rows and columns is this for the matrix so which is 9 cool so we need to make the sum of every row and every column to be 9 okay so if you sum up the matrix so what is the sum of the matrix it is going to be 9 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 okay so 6 plus 9 15 plus 6 is going to be 21 and we need to make the sum of every row as 9 so for that what we will be required it is going to be 27 so if you subtract 21 from 27 our answer is going to be 6 so i hope you have got the approach what we are gonna do in this question and let's see the implementation okay so here first of all what i have taken i have taken the number of rows and number of columns cool we have taken three variables basically max column sum max row sum and maximum sum which, which is basically max of this max column sum max row sum okay and the sum will be storing the matrix sum now we have iterated for all the rows and all the columns our current row sum and current column sum is going to be zero initially now for the row sum i will be traveling it row wise so matrix of ij similarly for the column we will be considering the column first then the row and for the sum you can add it as it is matrix of ij so now what we are gonna do we will be taking the max sum at each step so max sum is nothing but max of maximum sum comma max of row sum and column sum so whatever with the uh, maximum at one point of time so we, we will be taking it as a maximum now as discussed what we are gonna make in this 
so the maximum sum is going to be number of rows into max sum till now okay and for the answer we need to subtract the matrix sum till now so we have subtracted that and we have got our answer okay so the time complexity for this is going to be number of rows into number of columns and the space complexities will be order of 1 because we have taken only extra four variables so that is going to be order of 1 so i hope you have liked this video and agar acche se samajh mein aa gaya hai to please channel ko subscribe kar dena that really motivates me to create such content for you and let's meet in the next video thanks for watching